Hi, I'm Amy and thank you so much for joining us. And if you haven't been here before, then welcome. Um, this is my daughter, Hallie, and she's going to be joining me today. So welcome to my little Christmas corner. It's small because I have only a small space to work with. Our house is kind of small. The house is the size of my head. <laughs> I don't know if you remember from my last episode when I found this little gal. And believe it or not, actually in the mail, um, somehow I got two of these when I got some used squishies. And so I took one and I gave one to Hallie. And so we both did something with each of ours. So I'm, if you don't remember, I found this and maybe you're wondering like, what in the world is, is this what's gonna happen? No. Or, you know, maybe it's a new hat for her. <laughs> no, I'm just taking the wings and putting them on my angel. And then I'm putting it up here. I'm gonna stab a giant hole in her <laughs> bum and I'm gonna put that on top of the tree. We both have our Christmas socks on so we really wanted to show you that. Mine really matches. You have hair all over your sock. Mine really matches with my sweater. So cute. So, are you ready? Let's, Let's get started! started. <laughs> <laughs> so, here's what we're starting off with. And the first step is to chop off those wings and attach them. This was very satisfying, by the way. So here is your standard stereotypical angel. Everybody's making light of, and then in the Middle Ages, it kind of turned into a person with wings. But this is what an angel in reality actually looks like. And here are the references for you to look up if you want to. So first step is trimming off all those edges and these guys had a lot of edges to trim off. Who's my bubba? Who's my bubba? Oh my gosh! Yeah, yeah! <laughs> Thank you. So now it's time to glue on those wings. And I did have trouble with them sticking. I actually had to hold them on there for a while, but they stuck. So now I'm going in to make sure everything's gonna stay with some uh, slick paint and I'm just spreading it on out there to make sure it's nice and smooth. And then I'm gonna do a base coat and get ready to paint. So these paints are kind of shimmery and so I ended up adding a lot of layers and layers. So you get to enjoy watching that. So here are my beautiful colors 
And now I'm going to go in and do layer after layer after layer after layer. And you know when you just spend so much time on something, but you know you can never get it perfect. And I'm such a perfectionist. It's like, come on, come on, come on. But it just never reaches that perfect point. But you know, I did my best and I spent a really long time on these wings. Okay, so let's move on to the hair. I mixed multiple colors of black and different kinds of browns. <coughs> so I bought these beautiful silicone mats that I can put colored paper under and it's easy to clean up and there's no messes and my paint doesn't stick to it and it's just so much nicer, I love it. So now it's time for the dress and I made the mistake of doing layer after layer after layer because I just couldn't f figure out what color I wanted. I went from silver to blue to pink and decided on gold and I'm gonna didn't want her to make to make her look like Belle and so I did different layers so it looked kind of like a 3D effect so it went from white to darker gold. And I started with the dark gold in the creases and then spread it out. So it got thinner and thinner and then added the lighter colors on the edges. So I have to apologize. I could not find the film of me doing the highlights throughout the hair, but I just um, toned down the regular brown on her hair and made it nice and light. And now I'm going in for the face. I wanted nice rosy cheeks that blended in really well. And then I added her little mouth. I wanted it subtle and her closed eyes with some cute little eyelashes on them. Okay. Okay. Mommy's right next to me, so mommy. Okay, so oh, got a little one on. You know what sometimes I do? You know what, what sometimes I do? I do like a little smiley face and <laughs> cover that up. That's cute. I need more paint.
already? Mm. Ah! Oh! Scared me for a second. Even though I got it on the arm, I'm gonna do little faces and then cover it up. To touch it up. Like, I got some on the hair, I don't want red on the hair. Got it on the hair yet again. To turn around so I can. Ah! Spoops. What was that, Mommy? I'm gonna put a little sweater on her. It's a long sleeve dress. I'm gonna stab a giant hole in her <laughs> bum. <laughs> and I'm gonna put that on top of the tree. So I had to measure it out because I wanted it, I didn't want her leaning on the top of the tree. That would be bad. So this was a very unpleasant colonoscopy for my poor little angel. Uh, she had major surgery going on. Uh, some, you know, loss of intestines and she might need a colostomy later. Who knows? So let's pull out a bunch of that junk in there to make enough room. And this is the monster one. Yes, that scope hurt. That one hurt real bad. I feel bad for her. <laughs> Face in your face So she has her implant and now we need to make it permanent with this beautiful super glue that I just stuck up there now she is done. Ow.